Hi, this is Terence Wu with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'm going to quickly go through the enhancements included in the electronics cooling module add-in for SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation is a general-purpose CFD tool which can effectively analyze a wide variety of situations. There are two add-in packages which extend the capabilities of flow simulation for electronics cooling and HVAC applications. The electronics cooling module includes five key features. The first thing the electronics cooling module is going to help us with is modeling printed circuit boards. Due to their layered structure, PCBs are characterized by different thermal conductivities within the plane and through the thickness of the board. Instead of having to manually determine these values, I can simply specify the layer thicknesses and percentage cover, and the in-plane and through-plane conductivities are automatically calculated. The next addition is the two-resistor compact component model. This is a common method to represent chip packages in CFD. The definition consists of two parts, junction and case, and two thermal resistance values, junction to case, and junction to board. It's certainly more accurate than representing components as a single lump block, while still being very efficient. Next up is the heat pipe feature. Heat pipes achieve very high thermal conductivities through phase change of a working fluid. The heat pipe feature lets me select the heat in and heat out faces of the heat pipe and specify the effective thermal resistance. This is a lot easier than defining it as a regular solid part, where I would need to reverse calculate the appropriate material properties based on the specifications and geometry of the heat pipe. The fourth feature is the ability to apply electrical conditions and account for the heat produced as current is passed through a material. This effect is known as joule heating, and is also sometimes referred to as ohmic heating or resistive heating. Current can be defined directly, or calculated based on applied voltage and resistance. The key thing here is that heat generation is then determined automatically based on the resistivity of the solid material. The last addition included in the electronics cooling module is an expanded engineering database with more material and component information. So when I go to define elements, such as this fan, I have a greater selection and hopefully I shouldn't need to go track down data sheets as often. So to summarize, the electronics cooling module includes five enhancements. The PCB generator, two resistor component model, heat pipe feature, dual heating calculation, and an expanded engineering database. They're all fairly simple to use and for situations that involve these elements, they make it easier to achieve a more accurate analysis. I hope you found this quick run through helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let us know. And subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.